everyone, and today I'm going to um, do a dramatic reading of my fanfic Jonathan's Apartment. Today, I will be reading the first chapter called Elmo Meets Jonathan. Okay, here we go. One day during a live episode of Elmo's World on Sesame Street, Elmo ate some funny brownies and started acting crazy. After eating his pet goldfish, Dorothy, during the live broadcast, the, producer the, the producers of the show fired Elmo because of his tirade on the air, and then he became a homeless beggar living on the streets. Then one day, while walking out on the streets, Elmo accidentally bumped into someone. I'm so sorry, I- Wait a minute! Are you Elmo from Sesame Street and Elmo's World? said Jonathan. That's Elmo's name. Don't wear it out, said Elmo. It's a pleasure to meet you, Elmo. My name is Jonathan Garner, and I'm an author that writes joke books, says jo said Jonathan. Nice to meet you, Jonathan. Elmo, I, I wish Elmo could say Elmo was doing okay, but Elmo is not. Elmo got fired from Sesame Street and Elmo's World said Elmo. You got fired? That's awful, Elmo. Why did they fire you? Because Elmo ate some weird brownies and said some stupid stuff on the air. The sponsors of the show sued Elmo for Elmo's tirade. And now Elmo's bankrupt and living on the streets, said Elmo. You don't have a place to stay? Well, you could stay in my apartment. I'm the only one that lives there, said Jonathan. Thank you, Jonathan. Elmo promises he won't regret this, said Elmo. By the way, I need some cast members for a sketch comedy I'm planning to make called The Funny Show. Would you like to be a cast member? Said Jonathan. Elmo would love to, Jonathan! Said Elmo. And this is how, and so this is how the misadventures of Jonathan and Elmo began. The day after Elmo moved in, Jonathan was working on the script for the pilot episode of The Funny Show, when Elmo took elephants from the local zoo and let them into his apartment. Elmo! said Jonathan. Elmo was bored. Oh, who am I kidding? I need to stop talking about myself in third person. I only did that because Sesame Street paid me to, said Elmo. Never mind about that, Elmo. I have some bad news, said Jonathan. What's that? said Mo. Uh, well, they have re they replaced your show Elmo's World with Cookie Monster's World, said Jonathan. What? They replaced me with that dumb cookie addict? What next? Are they going to give Bert and Ernie their own spin-off? This is ridiculous, said Elmo. Don't worry, Elmo. I'm sure or they will cancel Cookie Monster's World because all Cookie Monster does is talking about his talking about cookies and eating cookies. Heck, that guy even eats the letter of the day when he can't eat any cookies. He really needs to go to cookie rehab. Oh, and by the way, get these stupid elephants out of my apartment! said Jonathan. Alright, alright, jeez, I was just bored. <sighs> said Elmo. Then Elmo took the elephants back to the zoo and quickly went back to Jonathan's apartment. They're happy now, Jonathan, said Elmo. Yep, thanks, Elmo, said Jonathan. Elmo's going to, I mean, I'm going to go prank phone call Barney the Dinosaur and ask him if his refrigerator is running, said Elmo. Okay, okay, have fun, Elmo, said Jonathan. And this is the end of chapter one. Next time... Um, I will do a dramatic reading of chapter two, um, called Dark Boss. Okay, until next time, goodbye.